I'm Moen and we're here at Papa World Headquarters outside Pittsburgh to play some Demolition Man, a great wide body game from 1994 by Williams. Strong shot flow and some interesting rules and multiple multi-balls. One of the first games to have uh, more than just a couple of multi-balls, each with different rules and a super jackpot in each of them. Also these gun triggers that allow you to shake the game as well as flip through the gun triggers for extra points. We'll talk about that as we go and start her up. So with these gun triggers operating the flippers, the skill shot is the side ramp. You launch the ball with the, the right trigger and using the triggers gives you some extra score. It does make the game more difficult to play, but I find it more fun to play as well. Uh, Left ramp will block balls, and each multi-ball requires a certain number of locks. The first multi-ball... Whoa! <laughs> All right, so moonwalked. Okay, ball two. There's a skill shot. Let's not have that happen again, please. So you start multi-ball by shooting the lane to the left-hand side here, uh, almost all the way up there, but it's not an easy shot. It's probably the hardest shot in the game, and it helps to kind of get practice on it, but also it just helps to use the, the little blue, the blue lamps and the artwork on there to guide you into that shot. It's a hard shot, but once you make it, you start the first multi-ball called Fortress Multi-Ball. There's one jackpot available at a time. The jackpot starts with this shot back up the middle called ACMAG. Then the left, then the computer shot, which is an upper flipper shot. And ideally you want those balls dropping out of ACMAG onto your upper flipper, but that's not what's happening to me right there. So let's say you're in a situation where you're like, I want a jackpot and I don't have it. Well, that worked out. Left ramp is the third jackpot. jackpot. And then after all the timing was just off there, the left ramp is the third jackpot and then the right ramp is a super. And the super is typically, at least for this one, it's a little more than double a regular jackpot. It's not worth a lot. The value of each, uh, each multi-ball is higher than the ones before. So there's a jackpot, there's two. Knowing the order of the jackpots is pretty important to success on demo. So where am I now? I need the right ramp, okay. And at any time, you know, I'm using these gun triggers. You don't have to use the gun triggers. It's just fun. Multi-ball, it's not particularly valuable to use the gun triggers. There's nothing big going on. Except right here where you're like, hey, I need that soup, that seventh jackpot. Oh, this is a pretty good multi-ball. And of course, as soon as you say that, it ends. Don't ever say that things are going well in a multi-ball. What I didn't use there was I didn't use the secret jackpots. I want to talk about that separately. If you, once per multi-ball, you can use these gun triggers to score a jackpot for free. And you can take that anytime you want to. Uh, in my case, I didn't choose, it, choose to take it, but I probably would have taken it at the point where I needed that uh, computer shot. But we'll do that in the second multi-ball. We will use... This ain't over yet. Ah, this ain't over yet, but it is over on this ball. Good ball one, after what happened on the real ball one with that weird moonwalk. Let's see if we can't uh, pick up something better on this ball. Shooting the right ramp will load the crowd claw, and the crowd claw has five options. Mag, which is a hurry up round, prison break, which is a quick round of left and right ramps, super jets, capture Simon, which is a sh shooting round, and lock freeze, which is clearly the most, the most likely to be taken. This gives you enough locks to light the next multi ball immediately. The further along you go in the game, the more valuable that is. If you have all the locks you need, it will start the multi-ball instead. So let's say that you're bad at that. Oh, it went in the hole in the back. Well, that was convenient. It actually started the multi-ball for me in the back there. 
Museum multi-ball, the second multi-ball has a slightly lower jackpot value, but all the jackpots are lit at once, all seven that we saw earlier. So what I like to do is pick off as many as I can until I'm unhappy with what's visible and what's left. Like, let's say I need a lot of side ramps or I need uh, a shot I'm not very good at a little bit. <laughs> I'm doing pretty well with that shot today. Like that's my last jackpot. Screw it, I'm taking the freebie. Lights the super immediately. And there it is. If scoring the super will then relight all seven jackpots. You might as well use the time you have while you've only got one ball in play to cash out a whole bunch of these. Double jackpot. <laughs> and the super's lit again. All right, so, there's no limit to how, oh! Jeez Louise. Well, that was a pretty great game considering how uh, screw jobby it was. The moonwalk ball one and uh, a quick double drain on ball three there, 1.2 billion for playing only a couple multi balls. We can do better than that. All right, let's focus on getting to multi-balls and see if we can get to the elusive cryo prison multi-ball. So if you want multi-ball, you first have to get enough locks to light the multi-ball. The first multi-ball only takes one lock, or a freeze, as the game calls them. And anytime you roll over that right in lane, you'll have the opportunity to score a freeze. So one way players can play the game is to shoot the computer shot up in the middle, which then feeds that right in lane. And shooting the center shot to feed the computer. Basically, it's, it's kind of a three-way combo-ish sort of thing. Shoot the middle, have it come over, shoot the computer, it'll feed the right in lane, and now you're gonna make the left ramp for the lock. Easier said than done. Oh, good, a little reflex angle there. And now start multi-ball by shooting that lane on the left-hand side. Or you can start multi-ball by shooting the right ramp and choosing lock freeze. Choosing lock freeze when multi-ball is ready will give you one additional freeze beyond what you expected and the multi-ball will begin at a now a higher base value. So this is now a three ball multi-ball instead of a two ball multi-ball. I thought that this is one of the great rules in this game where uh, you actually can get Whatever size multi-ball you want out of this, you can get a five ball multi-ball in this first multi-ball if you're willing to put up with it and take the freezes. Okay. Super is lit on the right ramp. Yeah, let's put both up there just in case. <laughs> So it's kind of downside because now I won't have uh, as much time with one ball in play, but those balls will return. I can get right up the middle to ACMAG again. ACMAG, computer, missed that shot. Computer, missed it again, but I got it on the third try. Hold on to that ball. Left ramp, right ramp. I'd say, well, why don't you use the secret? It's like, well, because the next shot is really hard. The next shot is that left lane, the one that starts multi-ball. This is the perfect time to use the secret. Right loop. And this one's not so easy either. They pretty much give them to you in uh, not quite an increasing order of difficulty, but they certainly give you the easier ones first. Okay, so here I've got one freeze and you might consider taking one of the other awards here. I'm going straight for multi-balls in this game, so I'm gonna just keep taking lock freeze every time. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why at uh, competitions like Pinburg and other events, this game typically is often played with the claw disabled 
forcing the awards to be given out in a specific order instead of just allowing the player the ability to take whatever award they want. To relight the claw, you need the letters at the top, which are MTL for no reason at all. I really don't understand what, what MTL means. But uh, I, I remember hearing a story that, that sometime during the movie, the letters MTL are displayed on the screen in the movie. And they're just like, yeah, whatever, this is fine. We need uh, something that spells out ABC or Cryo or something like that. And there were three lanes, so MTL it was. Every 10 combos, and you get a combo by making a combo, of course. Oh, you get an award, and there's a series of awards similar to Twilight Zone. In this case, Maximize Freezes is the world's greatest award because it immediately lights five ball multi ball. If you knew that Maximize Freezes was next, you might not have taken the choices on the claw that I did. I'm not sure what happened there, but it seems to have uh, registered a shot to start the multi-ball. And this is a five-ball multi-ball because I had all those freezes. The number of freezes determines the jackpot value. And I wasted my secret right up front, so I can't quite see in front of me what's lit or how many more I need. There's, you can hear for a sound effect telling you when super is ready. And the super is set up by a left ramp shot to a right ramp super. How do we do there? What's that? That's big value. That's pretty good. I wonder how much that super was. Whatever it was, it's probably good, right? One super there, didn't quite get through the second super, but uh, hopefully that's okay. Extra ball. Extra ball on that left loop from enough combos. And, ah, bad play there. That's definitely the downside of using these triggers is the things you would normally do in skill, pre in, in skill moves to get the control of the ball, they don't happen. Uh, and you're kind of at, at the whim of the game. But because this is such a shot-making, emphasized game, and there's very little to do in the way of uh, not nudging necessarily, but I mean just you're constantly making shots. So the way the game wants you to play it almost encourages you to use those gun triggers as well. I'm trying to light the claw here so I can light the next multi-ball on the claw. Missed the shot there, but uh, getting pretty good uh, action on the combos and ramp shots. If you want to play more conventionally to get the, the locks, you have to complete the five white stand-ups around the game and that will light the right inlane for quick freeze. But realistically, shooting the right ramp and choosing lock freeze is the way to go as the game progresses. Uh, and lock freeze in this case will give me the two remaining locks I need to get uh, the multi-ball ready. And you can still get more. So if I go right ramp, left ramp here, it's gonna give me that fourth freeze. So why not? Take it. Now that just added another ball to the multi-ball if it if and when it starts. And a higher value to the jackpot. So the next the next multi-ball will be five ec five ball multi-ball again with different rules. The wasteland multi-ball rules are very similar to Fortress with one big difference that we'll talk about once it gets started here. Oh, it ripped out! Well, considering I got the museum multi-ball started without really actually shooting it, it's Kind of fair that I got ripped off. Yeah, the trouble back there is that uh, you have to get the ball not just around that loop. Oh! Made the save and then blew it. As we head into, oh, all right, but the extra ball, we're still on ball one. Yeah, all right, I like that. See how far we can get. This would be ball three, I believe, in a, a straight three ball affair. So let's see if we can get through Cryo Prison on this ball. That's my goal here. I don't want to have to fish into 
the extras. That's one of my favorite shots there. Coming off the right one time and get into that into that lane. The same jackpots from Fortress, except if you hit that, you hit those cars on the left, you will light additional jackpots. And you'll give yourself a small ball saver. So it's very, very cool multi-ball, this one. And there's the super after getting three jackpots. I need to get seven jackpots now to light another super. Still haven't used my secret yet, so let's use it now because I've got the computer and I'm not making that shot very well. And that's it. Is it close enough, which I didn't get, but if I had gotten around that ramp, it would have given me, given me credit for a uh, Grace Peary jackpot. Come on. Bad shooting here. Get that ball. And we want to pull it up the right ramp for lock freeze again. And this lock freeze is amazing. This lock freeze gives you four locks in one go. Um, and it kind of ends up overwhelming all of the, the rest of the interesting things that are in the game, like uh, Hack Mag is fun, Prison Break is fun, Capture Simon is fun. There's a lot of fun stuff in this game that gets kind of hidden by the value of these multi-balls. And Crow Prison, Crow Prison is uh, most similar to the Doc Ock multi-balls in uh, Spider-Man. Super is lit. Super is lit right away, and well, I've already lost two of the balls. Okay, terrific. Super is lit right away. I keep saying that, but uh, I'm not making it happen. Up the right ramp for Super, and then some number of regular jackpots will relight the Super. You can't collect another Super while the first ball is being kicked back around, so you have to wait until at least that ball gets returned. But it's actually quite possible to keep one ball like going on the right and use the ball on the left flipper to just cash out supers. I'm gonna switch here to just regular flippers momentarily and see if I can do a little better with this multi-ball. Uh, continuing to make supers on the right ramp. Uh, so if you're used to playing it one way and then all of a sudden it's like, no, you're using regular flippers now. You can actually mess up from this. And so in this, in cryo prison, you use the time during which you have one ball in play to light the super again. Eventually you can't because there are too many more shots. It takes one additional more shot beyond each time. And yes! That's a big super. What is that? 367 million super. And at the end of all four multi balls, you have to shoot the right ramp one last time for what is called the demolition jackpot. You don't want to miss this. I mean, I don't want to miss this, but you, you, you could miss it if you want, if you're watching the video. It's so gonna pay you off again for all the jackpots you earned in the multi-balls. 135, that was a good museum, museum multi-ball. Not so good in Wasteland, good crowd prison. 790 million for one shot? I'll take that. It's a good eye, good deal. And that is the, the way to play this game, or at least to play for multi-balls. So let's take a, a quick switch here and we're gonna switch towards playing the other way and playing for demolition time, which is the other main goal of the game. To get demolition time, you need to play all of the different crowd claws. So that was our game. If, if this were a three ball, no extra ball game, that's the entire game right there with uh, about four and a half bill. Not too bad. But uh, as we switch here, we're gonna try to play the other claw, the other claw rounds and get to demolition time. Still on the, uh, the, the the triggers because you know, it's fun. Triggers are cool. You 
The other modes here, let's, start, let's just do them from left to right here. ACMAG is a hurry up mode where you have to shoot the center shot, which is one reason why I call that shot the ACMAG shot. You're just shooting stuff. The ACMAG, I guess in the, in the movie, is some big gun with three seashells on it. And uh, your job is to just shoot as many things as you can and blow them up. You can also blow up by using the gun triggers, you get a special thing to blow up, uh, which uh, eh, well, maybe we'll spoil it, but uh, it's, a, it's a nice little bonus. What do we got? We got the traffic award there, and that went in to start the multi ball, so. Boop! Count me up. Oh, you're not gonna count me up because I'm playing multi ball. Oh, I hate you, Acmag. But uh, ACMAG plus multi-ball is a nice thing to have because uh, it certainly can be worth a lot. I find that ACMAG awards are not that worthwhile. You get some good points out of it, but you won't get like crazy points. 76 million? Yeah, that's cool. Super jackpot? No, that's cool. I do think it's valuable to, to just, if you're gonna play Demo Man, remember the, the order of these uh, set of jackpots. So it's uh, ACMAG, computer, left ramp, right ramp, left loop, left loop, right loop, and then the side ramp. But it'll let you take the computer instead of the side ramp because the side ramp on many, many, uh, someone said Judge Dredd there. Same guy, right? Uh, Sylvester. On many of these machines, the side ramp is too difficult to make, so they'll let people shoot the computer when the side ramp is necessary. I find that left lane to be the hardest of the jackpots. It's just such a tight shot over there, and it's the shot you have to make to start multi-ball already. Ah, oh, could have had that, darn it. Should have had that. Got a flipper on it, actually, but. Glorious. Ah. Sandra Bullock says I'm glorious, so yeah, 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 got that going for me. Let's continue to get the act, the uh, the claw awards, and see if we can't get all the way through to demolition time. Oof, bad flip there. All right, so I found myself a little more accurate with the regular flippers, so I'm gonna switch to regular flippers here and hopefully use that to get my way through to, through to prison break, through to uh, whatever, what am I going for? Dem demolition time, right. Um, prison break is one quick shot to either the computer or the side ramp for double or triple value above the 15 million that's assigned. And then you have to go left ramp, right ramp a bunch of times to complete the car shots that will finish the mode. You get some nice quotes from this. It's a little car chasey, cool action stuff, you know. What I'm going for now is I'm trying to complete the MTL, the lanes, so that I can, oh, there it is. Completing the lanes will light access claw. And access claw, which you can get by shooting by the left in lane, will light the claw for awards. The right ramp normally does not give the claw. And if you go right ramp to left ramp, like, yeah, try, whoa, hello. <laughs> right ramp to left ramp, or just left ramp outright, you will light the claw. It's not easy to get the claw lit. Uh, you can actually, uh, sort of uh, shats it. And there's even an award in the game called the Huxley Award for shatsing it all the way into the hole uh, up in the, the upper, upper left. But if you get a trap on the right flipper, you can then left ramp it. Gosh, bad shooting there. Oh, and took a warning. Okay. Light, ooh, light explode. 
Yay, it might explode. Oh, collect bonuses. The other great award that's available. Come on. Oh boy. Well, we just need to make a couple more. Stop saying that. So right ramp will light the next claw award. One shot remaining to finish car chase. Let's go for Capture Simon next, because Super Jets is what you think it is. Capture Simon. Let you shoot stuff to shoot arrows to capture Simon. Shoot any arrows and you will get stuff. You can also use the secret buttons again during this mode to advance your progress. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I thought that you could do that, but I guess I guess I'm wrong. I must be thinking of some other game. Or some tutorial lied to me about how to get things done. Uh, let's get MTL one more time. Oh, access claw from the bonus multiplier given to me by the... Oh boy. That's two warnings. That's, that's trouble. Let's go up that ramp to... Oh, that was not even close. All right, I'm better accuracy with the uh, triggers, so let's switch back. Good lord, you're bad with that stuff. Left ramp, right ramp here to light the claw. <laughs> there we go. So the last of the awards is Super Jets, which is very boring. Uh, it's a million a pop. But uh, more importantly, as the fifth and final award, it lights demolition time at the computer. So there is more to be done, and surely I will drain right here so you won't get to see it. But uh, demolition time is lit. <laughs> that was a nice bounce in. And the game is destroyed. You're under arrest. Arrest. And you're trespassing. Let's go. Let's go. Illuminate. Illuminate. <laughs> Deluminate. All right, if you complete the yellow targets, you will collect one of the three tasks you need to get the three seashells bonus rounds hidden in the game. But any of those shots, these five white targets will kick a new, another ball into play. You also collect a bonus for any shot you make with the, with the ball. Completing the five whites. So there's that uh, completion of that task. Uh, will give you points. Five whites will also increase the value of all the awards that are around you. So this is a this is a multi ball that you know can kind of secretly be worth a lot of points. You have to hit all five of these things to get to get credit, or you or you die. So you're actually aiming for the parts of the game that you've tended to avoid throughout. Um, the white targets are interesting in this game, but if you can make all five white targets, and I'm aiming for the white target and missing, it's kind of hilarious actually, that now that I don't want to make the ramps, there it is. And when you notice you've got all the white targets complete, you're going to get a quick ball saver. So use that ball save time to try and make a couple more of the targets for the next one. If you can get your way up to four or five balls, you can get some high value targets here. Watch out, when you go down to one ball, you have to make the last shot immediately. Ah, I blew it. I blew it! And it's all over. So, demolition time there, 600 million, but uh, it's not unusual to see demolition times over a billion to two billion. Now, let's see, where are we here? We are closing in on 50 combos, which is another extra ball. Retina scan! Let's talk about retina scan. Retina Scan and Car Crash are over on the left side of the game. And these are the cool bash toys, but uh, unfortunately they're not really worth enough to be, to be wild. So the Retina Scan on the left gives you stuff, points. And I think there is an extra ball in the Retina Scan at uh, three, but boom. Retina Scan! What does it say? What's worth it? Is it worth it? You tell me. I don't, it doesn't seem to be worth it. Meanwhile, next to Retina Scan is Car Crash, and Car Crash makes you do that. Glorious. 
So there we go. That's uh, Demolition Man. They put up a good score here. It's a grand champion score. Hopefully this gave you a, a good tour of the way this game is played and uh, the different options you have and some of the reasons why when it's in competition the claw gets disabled. We've seen some great scores even like over six billion by Daniele Acciari on this game with the claw disabled. So take away all those easy multi balls and there are still ways to get great scores in this game. Thanks for watching and uh, go out and play some games.